Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Success Engineering Official. We are going to continue with our uh, water supply system. So today we are going to start the pipe sizing for this uh, domestic water supply. It's nothing but the cold water is called normal cold water supply piping. Okay. So how to find this uh, pipe size for this uh, domestic water supply? So we will use some codes, uh, this international plumbing codes IPC 2009. From that we will find the fixture units and according to the fixture units we will find the GPM. And from the GPM we will find out the pipe size. Okay. <coughs> so before I start this video I would, I would like to request you guys please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon as well if you are still not yet subscribe my channel to get the notification of my upcoming videos and also please like and share my videos to your friends also okay so let us start now as you can see here <coughs> this is one format I have prepared this excel sheet okay so <coughs> okay so this is a simple excel sheet okay so for calculating the pipe size okay so simple enter the year simple enter uh, here all these uh, fixture units value and then you will get the pipe size okay so this is uh, we have to, i have calculated for another project so for this project you have to change this one cold water demand calculation and pipe sizing for Two story building, okay. Two story building, Dubai. This is for the Dubai project. Dubai, okay. And you can write here date. So today date is twenty three. Twenty three, twenty twenty two. <coughs> okay so you can see here this is the types of fixtures okay water closet hand spray bidet laboratories bathtub sink servicing dishwash shower evolution so these are the fixtures okay so what you will do this is the fixture units we have to write it again okay and this is the gpm <coughs> so how how to get the fixture units so first of all you have to check the number of fixture for this toilet okay for we are going to calculate for this uh, this ground floor this change toilet okay so we have to check the number of fixtures so wc you can see here there are four wc one laboratory three laboratory okay so two here and one here or here four laboratory okay four laboratories and four uh, wc okay and then four hand spray Okay. <coughs> this is hang system is hanged. Let me check. Okay, so here you can see there are four WC and four uh, laboratories here two and here is one and here is one <coughs> and four hand spray. So simple enter here. So water closet is nothing but the four numbers. Okay, and hand spray is four and laboratory is also four. So you have to check this cold water pipe uh, size uh, water supply fixture units from the IPC international plumbing code okay so we will use ipc let me open this okay this is ipc you can see here this is the international plumbing code 2009 okay so water supply is in 144 page number you can see this is page number 144 
this is load value assigned to the fixtures okay this is for this column is for cold water hot water okay <coughs> so for the wc you can see here wc uh, wc public flush tank is 10 okay and uh, water closet public flush tank is 5 flash well flush tank so we will take the flash tank okay so here is the fixture unit so this is the load value okay water supply fixture unit for the cold water so five fixture units is for the wc so simple interior five <coughs> and spray look for the hand spray here hand spray and with the embedded is same so you can use this with it fixture unit value so 1.5 for it okay so simple interior 1.5 1.5 okay and then laboratory look for the laboratory so I will show you with the tools here laboratory where is laboratory here public and toilet uh, private so public this one this is laboratory public okay and fixture unit for the laboratory is 1.5 <coughs> okay so simple interior 1.5 okay so total this is a TWSFU is nothing but the total water supply fixture unit so we are getting here 32 okay so based on this fixture unit total fixture unit we want to found we will found we need to found the GPM so how to found the GPM you can see here this is another table table for estimating demand estimating demand is nothing but the GPM you can see here this is the water supply fixture unit and demand demand is nothing but the, is given in gallon per minute is nothing but the GPM okay and this is the fixture unit so we are getting 30 fixture unit use these tools okay this one so 30 fixture unit we get <coughs> okay so what will be the GPM so this is the GPM column so 23.3 GPM okay so based on this uh, two value we will found uh, pipe size so write it here 23.3 GPM is 23.3 and velocity velocity is nothing but the 2 fps we will consider for this uh, gravity system because uh, you can see this water is coming from the roof with the gravity system to each toilets okay if you uh, once we are using the pump so it's called a force system and uh, without a pump is called gravity system it's free uh, freely flow the water from the roof to each toilets so for the gravity system we are considering 2 fps and for the force system we are considering 4 fps ok so for this uh, main pipe we will uh, consider the 4 fps and for this uh, this pipe is coming from the roof we will consider 2 fps ok this is actually given in the standard I have already made the video for this water supply I will give the link uh, for that video in the description box I have explained uh, fully in that uh, video from where we have take this value and this value all those things so please go and watch that video so you will found uh, a concept from how and uh, from where I have uh, get this velocity okay so 2 fps and uh, pipe size we have to found uh, Using these two value velocity and GPM, you will find the pipe size with the grab. Okay. So in the same uh, this uh, plumbing codes, uh, there are so many grabs here given. You can see here. So actually, we are uh, will use uh, for the smooth pipe. Okay. So this is the friction 
uh, friction in fairly smooth pipe. You can see here this is the in x axis is friction loss per per pound square inch at per hundred feet of length. Okay, so this is the friction, and this in the y axis flow in GPM gallon per minute, and uh, this line this slant inclined line is showing velocity you can see velocity 10 feet per second and this line is showing pipe size you can see a diameter in inches okay so how to use this graph uh, to find out the pipe size I will show you in, in GPM is 23.3 .3, okay so consider 24 so this is your 24 20 sorry 20 and uh, this is uh, here approximate 24 okay so take on line from here this is 20 and uh, this is 24 draw on line parallel to this okay so this is the 24 line <coughs> sorry this is the gpm okay and uh, velocity so velocity is nothing but 2 fps so this is the line for the 2 fps okay so draw one more line uh, parallel to this 2 fps from here to here this is the 2 fps and uh, this line is coinciding here so draw one more line where this coincide like this this is little bit inclined so delete this one again draw like this okay so this line is near to which uh, line which uh, diameter so this is the 2 inch dia and this is uh, 1 and a half 2 and 2 and a half and this is the 3 okay so this is near to 2 2 inch okay you can see here this is 2 inch okay 2 inch is nothing but the pipe dia so this line is near to the this 2 inch line so the pipe size is 2 inch okay so 2 inch and 2 inch is nothing but the 50 mm Okay. otherwise uh, there is another method also so uh, first of all you have to write it here simply write this is the main pipe uh, here you need to write so go to this text layer okay use ellipse command here simply move this here okay and uh, take the line from here to down like this okay and write it here the text you simply copy this uh, text from here select this and go to this property check the text it is so it is showing 200 make it 120 okay double click to edit so first of all you have to write uh, fixture unit so how much fixture unit is there 32 fixture unit okay. 32 fixture unit okay and then GPM is the uh, 23.3 GPM GPM is 23.3 and the pipe size domestic water supply pipe size control shift, shift uh, control percent percent C is nothing but the dia pipe size is 2 inch okay TWS 2 inch 
so you have to write like this So this is your pipe size 2 inch here. What will be the pipe size here? So for this one, we have to copy this. Place it here. Take one line. Like this. Okay. And simply copy this text. All this text should be copied. From here and place it here. Okay, then you have to write here total fixture unit. So total fixture unit is how much here? Two laboratories and four WC for uh, four hand sprays. So you have to simply remove this laboratory is two only. So this is twenty nine fixture unit. Okay, simply use this uh, Excel sheet. You will get uh, this fixture unit GPM and all this. Yes. So 29 uh, fixture unit so 29 for the 29 fixture unit you need to check the GPM here from this table okay go up okay here total estimate in demand Twenty nine, twenty nine GPM is here 20 25 30 it's the same you have to always take the higher value so 29 is not given so you will take this uh, 23 30 okay so 23.3 gpm again 2 inch okay so 23.3 gpm 2 fps again you will get the 2 inch pipe size here so here is the same okay and what will be the pipe size here simply copy this text place it here okay so here here your fixture unit is uh, simply change the fixture unit so 29 fee fu 29 fu 29 fixture unit and gpm is same pipe size, uh, pipe size is same now for uh, here what will be the gpm and what will be, will be the fixture unit and what is the pipe size we need to calculate okay so here the fixer laboratory is one and four uh, wc and four hand spray simple change this value keep it one and you will found here 27.5 so 27.5 you have to check here so is not given so approximate you will consider the maximum value so it's 30 again the pipe size is same here only the fixture unit has been changed okay so 27.5 point five. and what will be the pipe size here so for this one you have to copy this simply copy this one place it here and rotate this Okay, simply place it here and check the fixture unit. So fixture unit is here is 1, 2, 2 hand spray, 2 WC, 1 laboratory. So simple change the value here, 1 laboratory, 2 hand spray and 2 WC. So we are getting 14.5 fixture units. So for, for the 14.5, you will check here uh, is the 15. So from this table, you 
you have to check the fixture unit 15 and uh, GPM is 17.5 so GPM is GPM is 17.5 so and uh, velocity is 2 FPS so using these two values 17.5 and 14.5 uh, is nothing but the 15 and 17.5 GPM okay so and velocity is 2 fps so using this 2 value we need to found here the pipe size from this table okay so simple delete this first just to avoid the confusion okay so i am deleting this okay and then you have to check 17.5 uh, is nothing but the 18 okay So take the line here 17.5 is nothing but the 18 simply draw one line parallel to this GPM okay and velocity is 2 fps is here okay and uh, where this line is coinciding is approximate uh, here so this line is near to this 2 inch pipe dia so the pipe size is approximate 2 inch this is your pipe size so it's coming to inch so it's same okay so nothing is changed only fixture unit is changed here and GPM also change so fixture unit from this table 14.5 and 17.5 GPM so fixture unit is 14.5 GPM is 17.5 17.5 and diameter is 2 inch ok and this side is also same so what will be the pipe size here we need to check this this side also will be same so you have to copy simple this one simple copy this okay and go like this and mirror this use mirror command first point second point simply copy this all this value and place it here because this uh, both side is same two WC and two hand spray okay and laboratory is here no laboratory so check this one there is no laboratory so delete this okay so we are getting 13 and GPM is we need to check the GPM Here is 13 okay 16.5 GPM so this is your 13 fixture unit okay and then this is your GPM 16.5 so fixture unit is 13 and 16.5 GPM using this two value you have to find out the pipe size from this graph here this is the smooth pipe rough pipe okay so this is the smooth pipe simply erase this or delete this line okay and uh, GPM is 16.5 so simple simple draw one line parallel to 16.5 GPM so this is approximate here okay and then velocity is 2 fps then this line is coinciding here ok so this is near to which dia so 1 and half ok so here is diameter is changed here so 1 and half ok so what you will do you have to change the dia here 1 and half 
one and a half is nothing but the 1.5 inch okay and GPM is 16.5 picture unit is 13 picture unit Certain fixture unit okay simply you have to copy this okay simply copy this all this value place it here now for this one one hand spray and one WC okay so for the one hand spray and one WC you need to check here one WC is one and spray is also one so 6.5 uh, fixture unit and GPM is we have to calculate the GPM so check uh, from this IPC table 6.5 fixture unit so 6.5 is nothing but 6 and 7 so maximum is 7 so you need to consider the 7 fixture unit and GPM is 11.8 so using these two value we need to calculate the pipe size 11.8 GPM 6.5 fixture unit and velocity is 2 fps so simple use this two value and plot uh, the line here on this graph first of all delete this okay just to avoid the confusion I am deleting this so simply delete this and I plot this uh, value on this graph so 11.8 GPM 11.8 GPM is nothing but take the tools and go to this line and here is 10 and 11 is approximate here and velocity is 2 fps okay so this line is coinciding here so we need to check this line is near to which tire this is near to one and half one and one fourth or one and half so this is near to one and half so the pipe size is same okay so this is your pipe size so you need to place it here one and half 1.5 1.5 is nothing but the 40 mm okay. so simple right here 11.8 GPM and 6.5 fixture unit 6.5 fixture unit and 11.8 GPM 11.8 GPM and pipe size is 1.5 inch so I think you guys learn how to calculate the pipe size so for this single uh, single fixture unit uh, we need to calculate also and there is one more table I have you need to just to save the time I will show you this is also taken uh, from the IPC so how to how to use this table for example here is your uh, for example for this one line okay so one laboratory is here simple check the fixture unit from here this laboratory private public 1.5 this is 1.5 so you, uh, after that use this graph okay this table fixture unit is 1.5 is nothing but the 2 and GPM is 5 gallon so pipe size will be 22 mm okay 22 mm so this is already calculated I already write it here pipe size just to save the time this is the GPM and this is the pipe size so very simple you have to write it here simply copy this this value unit is how much 1.5 and uh, GPM is using this table GPM is 5 so 1.5 and 5 
2.5 GPM is uh, 5 GPM. Okay. And pipe size is 22 mm is nothing but one and uh, you can write here uh, 22 mm is just convert into this inches. So 22 divided by uh, 25. 0.88 inches is nothing but 7 by 8 7 by 8 21 so 7 by 8 inch ok so diameter is 7 by 8 I am writing here in the inches you can write in the mm also so 7.8 inch for this one ok we will use the reducer here reducer and T so same thing uh, similarly you have to found for this each branch okay so you can write it here also let me write we will copy this place it here okay and move this this is just showing this pipe size place it here ok and move this this side ok so for uh, one laboratory is here 1.5 again 1.5 picture unit and gpm is 5 gpm 5 gpm and pipe size is 7 by 8 inch is nothing but 22 inch 22 mm 7 by 8 inches okay so i hope you guys learn how to calculate the pipe size uh, as per the international plumbing code okay so guys uh, i uh, please uh, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon as well so that you can get the notification of my upcoming video so in the next tutorial uh, guys you will uh, write the pipe size for this uh, gents toilet for the ground floor and then we will write it uh, go to this first floor ok and then we have to create the riser and we will write it uh, the riser pipe size after that we will calculate the pump head so please keep watching my channel and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share my videos so thank you for watching my videos Thank you. Bye-bye.